today it's time to check out my fully custom Losi Rock Raid. All the parts that went into it, all the customization. Stay tuned and let's take a tour around my Rock Raid. Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and today it's time. There it is, the Rock Ray. This thing turned out pretty good, and I've got to say, not a whole lot of upgrades went on to this Rock Ray for two reasons. First off, there's not a lot available still, and second off, the Rock Ray really doesn't need a whole lot of upgrades. And I focused on some of the durability portions, and also, of course, the looks of it. So with that, let's go ahead and take a quick tour around my Rock Ray. Now, if you haven't already done so, please check out my running video of the Rock Ray. I really put it through its paces and it definitely performed. With that, also check out my review video. Is the Rock Ray worth $450? Lots of good points in that video. And with that, let's start touring around my Rock Ray. From Proline Racing, I went to them for their ever famous Power Stroke shocks. Now in the front, I am using the Slash 4x4 rear shocks. They happen to be just a little bit smaller than the stock front shocks on the Rock Ray, but they work quite well. I'm using the yellow springs with 45 weight oil to start off with. In the rear, I'm using the XT size shocks. These are meant for the Yeti from Axial Racing, and they happen to be a little bit longer than the stock versions. So I just move them down one hole to the middle hole. I'm using the stock springs with a yellow upper and then also 20 weight oil in these shocks. Also from Proline Racing are their Hyrax tires. Now I am a huge fan of these, especially for rock racing or U4RC. They have great traction, they're the perfect size and coupled with the dual stage foams, they work tremendously. From SSDRC are their Rock Racer aluminum beadlock wheels. These are true beadlocks. They use six bolts on the back side of the wheel to mount these on to those Proline Hyrex tires. Now I did opt to put on the Proline rings. They're made specifically from SSDRC to made up with the Proline tires perfectly. I like these wheels because they use a Delrin beadlock ring on the outside and also a plastic ring to keep the weight down. Also from SSDRC is their third member on the rear axle. It's made of aluminum and adds a larger pinion bearing right here on the pinion going into the differential. So it gives a little bit better durability and of course aluminum makes it more durable in the end. It doesn't have a huge weight penalty because it's just that small section of aluminum. From MIP is a rear drive shaft. Now this is not a buy off the shelf kit. I did have to put this together and heavily modify it for the rock ray. Now it happens to be two lengthened output shafts right here from the Wraith style of out drives and then also uh, the Wraith sized drive shaft. So everything worked out pretty good. I believe on the Wraith you use a small and then a large. This one has two larges and I did have to do some custom pins. The Losi Rock Ray uses a super thin pin on it. Happened to have these here and I also had to shave down the kind of shoulder that's riding on the end of this little output shaft. So had to get a little bit of custom stuff done to it but in the end I got some MIP strength on the rear end. Upgrades directly from Losi was the steering rack and also the aluminum steering mount. Decided to upgrade those because they looked a little bit weak when I was diving into the rock ray. Also, I added the TLR 22 servo horn. Had it on hand, it bolted straight up to my Futaba servo and it gives me that peace of mind now on that piece of it that did fail on my original running video. Now, locking the center differential to make it legal for you for RC racing is a Vetera RC front diff locker for the twin hammers. It dropped right into the center diff of this rock ray and now I have a locked center differential to race legally. Electronics wise, I put in a tried and proven U4RC powerhouse of a system. The Hobbywing XR8 SCT Pro speed control made it up with the 3660, 3200 kV, 550 size censored motor. True powerhouse and this thing is just a pleasure to drive now with that censored system. From Frutaba is the 9372 servo. This thing cranks out at 341 ounce inches of torque and has a transit time of 0.08 seconds 
true powerhouse in the torque division and super fast. The most noticeable item on my Rockray are definitely the custom aluminum panels. Now I've been making aluminum panels for a little while now, made them on my Axial Wraith way back when, I can't even remember how many years ago that was, but these panels are pretty easy to make. Now, although the looks of the stock body is pretty cool, I was never a fan of how busy the body was, nor how many screws it took to remove the entire one piece body design. It was about 16 screws and 32 washers to get this body off. Now I can remove individual panels to get into the motor or servo area or even under the hood of this Losi Rockray. To make the panels, I simply cut out templates in cardboard. It's pretty easy to do and I could fine tune exactly the way I wanted the panel to fit. Now with that, I did end up shaving all of the body posts on this car. So now that the body actually tucks all the way in close to the body or to the chassis, and it just has a streamline effect. So once I had the templates done, I picked up a couple of sheets of aluminum from a local hardware store. This is a six inch by 18 inch, and it is 0.025 thickness. So pretty thin to work with, and it was easy to cut with just a simple Dremel tool. Put on a metal cutting wheel, I was able to trim it down pretty easily, and then just adjust everything with a sharp file. You can really see how tapered the body is now, especially going to the lower rocker right here and it tapers upward up to the driver cockpit area. Once the panels were complete, I couldn't resist but to go to freakyskins.com to pick up some custom graphics. Now, of course, I'm known for the pixelated camo up here, the blue logo right here with my icon, and of course, added some decals from Slipstream RC. These are their sponsored decals. Pretty cool item from Slipstream RC. The last thing I did was on the interior was I added some Freaky Skins interior decals decals, a bunch of gauges and that type of stuff just to spruce up the interior. The interior comes pretty plain except for some seat belts and then just the little helmet decal. And I added these off of a Axial Yeti XL sticker sheet. Just pulled those straight off, trimmed them down just a little bit to make them fit, and they worked out pretty decently. Well guys, that is my quick walk around of my fully custom Losi Rockray. I cannot wait to drive this, but I have to wait. I'm gonna be running this at the U4 RC event on June 17th over at Cherry Valley Raceway. So can't wait to uh, get this thing on the track there, see to what it can do, the power system, the tires, of course, from ProLine. There's lots of cool things on this thing and I can't wait to drive it. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions, check out the video description. I'll have links to everything I mentioned, how much it costs, the whole deal will be in those links. So please check that out for yourself comments and questions down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over now